Hi, this is Crypto Digital. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up review on the note color. So, okay, I've got the same case as the last time. And it's uh, blue from Barnes & Noble. So it's got the straps here on the side. Then, opens up like so. You've got your uh, microphone port up here with the little holes so that you can get to that. Um, other than that, all the ports are accessible with this case. See, the sides are exposed, so it's no problem. The button down here, the home button, is uh, exposed, so it's, it's fine. Um, I'm going to turn it on. You've got the lock screen. And all you do is you swipe across there, you've got your home screen. So. Let's see what I've added to this since uh, the first review. Well, for starters, got some new books. Got Zero Day I'm in the middle of. It's uh, very good. I highly recommend Zero Day. It's about the um, hackers crashing the internet. So it's good so far. I've got Mind Hackers I haven't started yet. Um, Physics of the Future. And up there, I've got Future Freaks, which I'm in the middle of, um, Reality Bites. Uh, still reading that. Um, okay, so I've added some apps, because apps are now available with the Froyo update to the No Color. So, first of all, it came with Pandora, which is great for listening to music. And, um, yeah, I highly recommend using Pandora. It comes with the No Color, but I highly recommend using it. It's great for listening to music. The speakers on the No Color are not that great. So you're going to need to use headphones or external speakers for that. Um, you know, you can listen to it through the No Color speakers, but I don't recommend that. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, then we've got with the Royal update, we've got emails. So, as you see, as you see, we've got my emails. And uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work in landscape mode, stays portrait, but it's uh it's good to have email on your device. It makes it more of a tablet. So it's great to have email. I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi on so that I can show you the rest of the apps. Well, my favorite app for any device is to download Evernote. Which is the green, uh, the green icon there with the elephant. And that is great because that, I keep my links in Evernote. And what I'm going to show you is, see so here we have, uh, my links. That's my accessory links. But here we have my categories of all my links. And that does work in landscape mode. It switches. And what we can do is, we can go into, let's say, cell phones. And it's got all my links to my cell phone articles and reviews uh, that I'm reading. So let's say Droid X2. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to open the web page. It's going to open the article in uh, landscape mode for easy viewing. And that's the Droid X article by PC World. So, if I scroll down, got the full article there, as you can see. And uh, pictures come through crystal clear. Another thing is if you go into portrait mode, well, this is a mobile site, so I can't uh, necessarily zoom in on that because it's already optimized for mobile devices. But let's say we were in a site 
that is not mobile, let's say uh, phone dog, okay, and we're in uh, portrait mode, wait for the site to load, and as you see, the text is a little small. So what I want to do is, I want to make that bigger, so I'm going to double tap, and now, text is legible, you can read it, and you can pan around the page, like so. There you go. And uh, the text is bigger. You can also pinch to zoom. So you see I zoomed out, and I'm going to zoom in, like so. So that's a great thing. That's great. So what else do we have? Well, then I forgot, I neglected to mention in the first review that you've got multiple home screens. So here I've got my magazines. Oops. Here I've got my magazines, here I've got my home screen, my main home screen, and here I've got another home screen with some more magazines. So that's a good thing, it's a great thing, because uh, you can resize the uh, icons for the magazines or books that you put onto those, or apps that you put onto those home screens. And it's a great thing. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, you know, you've got your more up here. It shows you the current books, periodicals, and files that you've been reading. You can tap in and out of that. You can tap in and out of that. Uh, you can keep reading your current the book that you're currently reading up here just by tapping on that. If I tap on that, get the book. This is a great e-reading device. It's uh, truly the reader's tablet because you can surf the web, you can use YouTube. Um, YouTube runs pretty smoothly most of the time. Uh, I'll show you YouTube. Should try to show you a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my favorites, my bookmarks. I'm going to go to YouTube. Let's see. YouTube is loading. There's YouTube. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run a search for, let's put this in landscape mode. I'm going to do a search for crypto interest. Okay. And there you've got uh, my videos. So I'm going to start one up and we'll see how she plays. As you can see, the speakers are not that loud. I'm going to turn them up a little bit. But you can see YouTube works. Someone asked in the comments uh, once if YouTube works on this uh, device. And yes, it does, as you can see. I'm going to let it run for a second because I want you to see that it is, it is mostly flawless. It's usually flawless. In this case, it's working just fine. It supports Flash. No problem. That's one thing the iPad does not do. 
with the milk colored dots. So I'm going to stop that. And uh, as you see, you know, YouTube, you got your uh, YouTube page there. You can scroll down to more and more. Uh, videos. You got your home screen. Down here you've got your menu with the library, shop, search, apps, web, and settings. So that's great. It, it disappears after a second, but then you just click here and it comes back. Um, you got your Wi-Fi signal strength, your battery, your time, your current book you're reading and the SD card. I installed an SD card on this for more memory, so that's what that is. If you click on the time and battery, you get your quick settings. So I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's the quick settings. You see uh, the battery meter is at 82%. It tells you the date, September 24, 2011. Um, Wi-Fi is on. You can mute the tablet. Uh, I have auto rotation for the screen set to on. And you can also adjust the brightness of the screen. Like so. I'm going to turn the brightness down. And back up. So there you have it. Uh, that's the quick settings. Other than that, I mean, you know, it's a great device. I'll show you what a magazine looks like. Here's a uh, PC Gamer. You see, for most magazines, For most magazines, um, there's this black bar on the bottom. Uh, there's a space there. And I believe that's because if you click here, you'll get the pages of the magazine in that black bar. And you can scroll through the pages of the magazine, pick the page you want, And there you've got the page. So another thing is article view. Article view enlarges the article that you want to read so that you don't have trouble reading it because the, the text gets bigger. Then you can just click out of that, the X, and you're back to the page in the magazine. So article view is great. Um, so that's magazines. And, yeah, that's about it. PDFs are nice, too, because here's the um, Motorola Droid X2 PDF, and it's the manual. And you can flip, you can flip through the pages like so. And then if that's not big enough, you turn it in landscape. I mean, you can obviously pinch to zoom and, uh, you know, double tap to intelligent zoom, but it's great because there you've got the PDF. So that's about it. That's it for my uh, follow-up review of the Note Color. Again, I highly recommend this device. Uh, it's, in my opinion, the best e-reader that you can get. So, with that said, take care. It's good to visual.